Aigiming Usam Ningto Kompomite, A English Yozan. Hi everyone. Nisito Udurbehoi Chapter Sena Class 7, Lesson Number 17, Main's Journey Through Time. Go. Equim Yue Bahabuzi Hojit Abusumina. Mamanga is a Hana later Monday. When the world was in an infant stage, go, like a uh, human being, like you wanted to be. Pitribi is in a infant stage. I have the whole put in any matum though. Matum can do the mistake my dog matum the life. Hire kanda. There was no animal, no tree. Can't tell him they go. Can you go must sail the caracatang a tow regulator by moong that go. Ising the greater go. Ising Ising hide the shoes. Jacob and Uribus minor the matum to the Uram the Bushuaco. Then, see the chapter is that we are going to discuss some three words go. Aruba, Hagadra go. Uh, tamgani. First, the protoplasm. So, what is protoplasm? Colorless material comprising the living part of a cell. Colorless material comprising the living part of a cell. So, life was not as we see now. So, life was not as we see then again, second word, I'm going to evolution. So, what is evolution? Evolution means um, the gradual development of something. So, what is evolution? Slowly, slowly, development, stage by stage development. Here, in this topic, in this lesson, we are going to discuss about the development of human beings. The evolution of human beings. Then, fossils. Fossils are not going to be able to do this. Animal, plant, impression, remains, body remains. We have to do this. 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 So, simply, remains or impression of a prehistoric plant or animal embedded in rock in a petrified form. We have to do this. So let's go into the topic or topic to the scientists Scientists believe that apes began to live on this earth 65 million years ago. Apes had the apes had the monkey, chimpanzee, something, something, go, madu gumba, hoy manu pido na yong, hamzale hoy na go, adu gumba ki mawong sine. Actually, it is believed that we human beings are a descendants of apes. Go, apes ki hoy mazama suni. Apes are actually our forefathers. Human beings ki forefather ni hain low we go. So it is believed that 65 million years ago, apes have said, "Pitri bi sida lakhi bane." 65 million years ago. Then about 6 to 14 million years ago, a kind of the apes preferred to live on land instead of on trees as they usually did. See, we have seen so many monkeys, so many chimpanzees, they usually live on trees. But a new type of apes began to evolve around 6 to 14 million years ago. 6 to 14 years million ago, apes are they prefer living on land instead of on trees. Trees are living on the trees. Actually, these apes are going to be our earliest ancestor of mankind, mankind, human being. So, over the millions of years down the history of Earth, apes passed through several stages of evolution. Millions of years ago, apes were stage by stage. Hoi picture desu u gani ing saik main tu gaya matam da apes ing je aham kolam gani kolam mana semua orang kerap pas semua orang kerap pelas itu something itu tetapi ngamuk pagi suku bagi stage kalau lak ni madu kis stage asang main tu hoi kantho asih kantho ke dok si we skip that ko and two million years ago tu ke doki madu orang ni si two million years ago ko homo habilis ko amuk thole Homo habilis is a human being for fathers in the world. Today we are discussing about the forefathers of human beings, early men. Although, in the same two million years ago, a kind of human ancestor was Homo habilis. They did not know the use of fire. They ate uncooked food. They ate raw. If they, even if they kill an animal, they will eat it raw. They will not cook the animal. So, they will not cook the animal. 
So, but these men, however, they had more developed brains than other apes. Ato pala ibe apes may am thay na dekila ibe apes may am do matugam chomba masakon ba masakti ba matugam apes may am do di. These Homo habilis they have more developed brains. Mo yung brain ni kare hen pa ibo ko. And they hunted in groups using stone tools ko. Stone git tools is na raga ko. Habi di nung mese. So those tools, those weapons made from stones ko. They use those kinds of weapons and they went in group hunting why is a group in hunting to me i'm saying him with so after homo habilis a kind of group again evolved homo erectus homo erectus as the name suggests as the name as the name tells you ka. homo erectus means uh, those early men who can walk erect ko. something in lepang ka something in lepang ambodo maduba ko homo erectus and go they discover the use of fire Initially, they live in Africa, but gradually they migrated to other parts of the world. Aham, but the kedore first, mukhi first place of living je Africa or Amer. Next, they started going to other parts of the world. Ka, they started to scatter around the world. Ka. Ningsang si amuka. Aham, but the kai neva koi entam ki pose Homo habilis. Homo habilis after Homo habilis, Homo erectus. Homo erectus ki matang da it develop into modern men. A koi hujula ise. We are actually go scientific name da koi ise. We are known as Homo sapiens ko. So Homo sapiens ka lag pasi di. To to two hundred fifty thousand years ago ki mamangi wari ni. In Indian system da hagan na two lakh fifty thousand years ago ki mamang da. Ado na matam do da nga saigi atop atop kara Homo erectus na taba kara tapna tapna slowly and slowly develop to re ko. Human beings begin to develop, evolve slowly and slowly. Then again, some some early men kara to re ancestor ba mung to re ani mamis Neanderthal men ko who used to live around fifty thousand years ago in Europe. Then again, Cro-Magnon men hana lai. And today, our study will focus on Cro-Magnon men because Cro-Magnon men is believed to be our nearest ancestor. Na sa yung Homo erectus, Homo sapiens, Homo habilis na may am na ikibas ng dudi. Makuha yun di yam ngalinge matamgi niya ba? Ado na kitang tengthera ko yung matamgi hay taray ko. Ado ako yung yam na mana ba hay taray gadi who looks very much, very much same to us ko. Ako yung yam similar o iba same o iba hay taray gadi. Cro-Magnon men siya ba ko? So they are our direct ancestor. So to make it simpler, let's call him Mr. Magnan. Mr. Magnan, how is it? Mr. Magnan, give me life to him. Have the Crow Magnan done? We are calling him as Mr. Magnan. So Mr. Magnan is a healthy man. His daily activities is hunting wild animals, wild animals like reindeer, bison, and wild horses. So at the top, at the top, some animals like tana, sa sa tama, sa tuin niya si. So Magi activities is hatan mo kato ni hunting ko, magi su crops grow to ba agriculture ko mo to bus ma he don he didn't know how to grow plants ko, so he used pointed stones as spearheads to hunt with his friends ko, magi friend may am ko to mo inera ka nda magi group hunting to do ni by using weapons made from stone stone tools, so Mr. Magnan he he wears some sort of dress made from animal skin or hide. Animal gi magi kano sing hai tarene matu gumbo magi sabun gumbo dona season na raga pi dona same maga setli. He was an expert hunter, strong and cunning. He he and his friends after killing an animal will take back to their cave so that the women folk could cook the meat ko. Masai gi kaya maintu gi matam da women folk mayam si na hai di mui matam du gi amom hai tarene pi sing dona ko. Ma koi na kido gani masai gi nu pa sing dona chromeback na main gumbo si na mui na sa tam chat urani they will bring back the some animals ko and those animals are going to be cooked ko because just remember, they have learned the use of fire. Who invent? Who discovered fire? Discovered? Can discovered? Can I tell you? Fire is a Homo erectus or Homo Homo habilis. Homo erectus na oido ni ko. Homo erectus na discovered tau kre. Magi matamu susing oido doi ning sa chromeback din siya. So they know the use of fire ko. Moi ng sa moi di ka tau kre. Fire season na bahay kre. Mr. Magnan also likes to draw or paint pictures of wild animals, ko, which he and his friends had hunted earlier. Man ang asigi ayuk tagi, masay gi sata mo chat uraga ko uraga, madugi sata lang pagi picture may amdo hay tarin niyo ko. Man na man na remember to uraga, memorize to uraga. He likes drawing those animals on the walls of the cave, ko magi cave wall, cave manung da surung manung da lari, magi wall wall sing do. Madu da man na chang sila gi yek pase yam na palm jay hay bo ko. This was a simple lifestyle of a Cro-Magnon man 40,000 years ago. How did you know that Cro-Magnon man 
was there 40,000 years ago, not now go. 10,000, 2,000, came to nothing. Yam nga linge mo tunde 40,000 years ago le rame. Magi lifestyle yam simple loy as we have studied now go. His life includes some hunting, some cooking go. Then ma kedo eba ma cooking de hai rame because Homo erectus na kedo rame nga sagi they have discovered fire. That is why Cro-Magnon people they knew how to use fire go. So they eat cooked food. Unlike those early human beings eating raw, raw and chop do do not remove the cooked raw chop here. So gradually, these and early ancestors of modern men left the caves and live in the plains where they built huts. Go. Ko na di ka dore slowly by slowly, slowly means thousands of years. They actually took thousands of years to learn how to build a house. Go. House ama hut ama same brother hai na bo hot na brother moi thousands of years chang doi ni ko. Then again, ko na moi si yum gumus sabo si hai re yum sabo hai re ko dekhe doore. Then left the cave, room dule ramu da tok tok re moi ma pandu in doore plain se lam hang do oi ni yum sabo na ko to na lay bo harok doi ni. But mo koi si na kwain to ge ma tham the agriculture po chay thabo ho bo hai re ko se. It happened somewhere around eleven thousand years ago. Ko yam na ngalig ngay matam dili eleven thousand years ago matam si tama mo si po chay gumba thab si hay hay ba hawre na lowre lowin ngay ko then several thousand years of years later men learnt about writing ko writing ibo ka tama si si di ko na thousands of years matung dani ba so mention may be made of Egyptian civilization ko makuwik ko ngayon si pictograph ha nga sa gigi hujib hujib dum lady lady ko nga sa gigi dum historian siya nga tigat pa da makuwik ko mayama makuwik ko nung dag ha tham ang bago mayama makuwik na rin ko then in this village civilization Mesopotamian civilization this this civilization siya nga siya matang dadi he will learn in your history class but these civilizations ko nga sa gigi palibang mayama siya chokot lehe na matam long na rin ba siya nga it came much later on ko na lak po ito niya po ko so what we have learned today, we have learned today about Cro-Magnon men. Cro-Magnon men, we have actually studied some names. Atopos of Khatam ke khoi na ko names like Homo sapiens, Homo habilis, Homo erectus. They were, they used to live on earth. Ko yam na ngalige mamang da thousands of years, millions of years ago actually. But Cro-Magnon men who used to live around 40,000 years ago, he is our nearest ancestor. Maze kado ba koi modern human being si ki nearest ancestor raman ni boko. And nga sa adudig nga sa amosutam ki who discovered fire? May zina ka nam puto ki ba no? Homo erectus. And why Homo erectus is called Homo erectus? Because these are those kinds of apes who can walk erect. Ata idudig erect o inachat pangamam de boko. Madi ngam ni ba. That is why he is called as Homo erectus ko.